In this video, I will show you how to convert an AAE file to a JPEG file in Windows 11. So let's jump straight into it. So before I go any further, I just want you guys to understand what an AAE file is. So if we actually come onto Google and we put what is an AAE, you can see that the description, it says that AAE files accompany the edited pictures when you import these to Windows or some older versions of Mac OS. So basically what this means is that an AAE file is not actually like an image file type. So image file types are things like JPEG, PNG. An AAE file is more like a file that contains information when you've edited a picture on a Apple device, whether that's an iPhone or like a Mac or something like that. So as you can see, as it says, as these files only contain the modifications information about the pictures, you can delete them without affecting the original pictures. But because they're more so information files, you cannot, of course, convert these to a JPEG file. It's sort of like taking a Word document and trying to convert that to a photo. Of course, that's something you can't do because they are two different file types. So at the moment, there's no way to actually do this. The best way to do this, what I would recommend is to import your photos using a different method. And what will happen is normally the JPEG file gets sent across, but the AAE, which stands for Apple Aperture Edits, will not be transferred. So you would just basically get the original image, but not the edited picture, because the AAE is an information file, it's not the actual picture itself. So if you do see any sort of converters online, don't trust them because they're not going to work, unfortunately. So I just wanted to put this out there to advise you guys that this is not something you can do. As an AAE file, it's just like an information document, it's not an actual photo file extension type. So I hope that cleared things up for you guys, and if this tutorial did help you out today, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.